So something I wasn't actually expecting to happen this week, but no, everyone got an alliance. We have finally now in Act 5. I feel like we are getting close to like some sort of climb, as I thought this would maybe take another good chunk of episodes to do, but having an, an alliance with a good majority of the fusion dimension, we've got Grace, we've got Gloria, we've got Aster Phoenix, we've got that fucking Nordu motherfucker, like, we got, like, four allies in this episode, like, at Arc 5, and I'm like, I'm like, wow, that actually surprised us, and having not one, but two familiar faces bring us back, though, as we see Yusho go against Dennis. So, the start of this episode, we got to see, like, you know, they're being surrounded by the Academia, like, all of them, and, like, you know, Phoenix, he was just there, like, no, like, I'm giving up my title as, like, the Commander-in-Chief and all that, the, like, the ways that, you know, Professor have been teaching us is wrong, it's not right, we've been doing it for the wrong way, it's all about, you know, rebuilding as well, and saying, like, dueling is meant for, like, making entertainment, it's made for, like, you know, smiling and enjoying yourselves, and just Grace and Gloria, just, like, Fuck it, we're joining as well, like, no, his way is the right way and all that, it's like, I prefer being with you than anything like that, and I kinda like that, it was like, you know, like, I really was expecting them to kinda like, like, just disappear and like say, oh, you know, maybe next time on the second duel or something like that, that they would go again, but no, they're like, now nah, we're gonna join Edo, we're gonna, like, we're gonna join him like that, we're gonna join him up, and then, like, Nora, who's like, fuck it, I'm the commander in chief now, fuck that, and it's then, like, Kaito arrives with the resistance, and he's like, uh, <laughs> oh, I'm fucked up, and, uh, he <laughs> just like, and then straight up, and it's like, I liked how like all of them were just like actually just trying to help, like even like when they were in the hospital and all that, like because you had like Kurosaki was like he was out of commission, like they were all out there, and like all like the academia soldiers, he was saying like, look, if you don't approve of the ideals that we had right now, like that, then you can go and like just go home, you can go back to academia, and it's just like you know, regardless of what, and I'm thinking like. There's still going to be some ill will to people since, you know, they got uh, taught at cars. I mean, like, exactly how, like, you like, oh, Kaito is acting as well. Like, he's just, like, a lot more, you know, like, just, like, c kind of nicer to it now than all that. But it's, like, regardless of what they did tell them and all that, that they can, like, go back to normal. That, you know, the cards, they get sent to Academia. They are probably going to be used, like, you know, like, um that are going to be used for an energy source or something, which I can believe in, like, you know, this is the thing, it's like, they immediately, like, go into it, and it's like, you know, like, how everyone gets to Academia, to, like, the, like, the XYZ, like, dimension and all that, like, you know, they actually end up going through, and it's like, no, let's go, we're going to the fusion dimension, and I was like, wow, like, we're just going straight out to the fusion dimension now, it's just like, so it seems like, in a way, like, you know, we're just kind of, ending the, like the xyz arc slash we're like moving like side on because to be fair we've always been through like the xyz arc to like slash and go through like the fusion dimension as well like that and it's just like i really like the fact that you know like we kind of got this new kind of crew going on with like a bunch of people like you know we've got a bunch of the characters staying behind obviously to take care like you know kurosaki and all that and we do get to see like finally yuya does get those like big old like rollerblade things that we've been seeing like in the opening for a while so i'm look i'm looking forward to it like you know like uh, what's gonna be happening so, well, we'll see, like, you know, when we go see that as well. And then Dennis arrives back with a bunch of the Academia members there. And he goes to actually challenge Yuya's father to a duel. And it was like, all right, this motherfucker, all right, you want to try and do this and all that with all my students? No, that we'll do something, all right? Like, just puts one face down and it's like, all right, in my turn. He's like, are you fucking mocking me? Like, you know, is this what you're going to be doing from this stuff? And he's like, no, no, come on, come on. Let's see what you got. Let's see what you got. He's like, fuck it. Pendulums, bring out the monsters, bring out my trapeze magician, gonna use his effect, 2500 like that, and I can attack again, 5000 right there, I'm gonna go and end this shit right now, and he's like, uh, 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 I'm gonna use like, pretty much magical hats, it's pretty much the new version of magical hats, you have like, two uh, versions of it, one has a monster in it, the other has like a magic or trap card in it, it's like, if you get that wrong, you don't take any damage, however, if you hit the monster, the damage is doubled though, so... That's a little bit of the shitty way to kind of like deal with it, like, you know, thinking about that. And I'm like, oh, wow, you know, that's the situation, you know, that we got on right now. And it's just like, turns out he uh, like he uh, had like a magic card that's treated as a monster in his hands. And it's like, even with that, it's like, you know, like, we got to see like Kaito as well, like, got like a another card as well. Like, with some weird little fairy girl, like, we got from like Saika. So it's like, oh, well, it's like, he's like, oh, I'm going to use this to save Rui with. And it's just like, the, the crew that we've got at the moment, I believe, like, from what we've got, is like, Gogenzaka, Kaito, like, uh, Sawatari and Yuya, the ones that go, and I would have liked if there was, like, you know, Phoenix there, and I would have liked if Grace of Glory, we got all of them, but, like, he was the one that had to set up the, like, the Dimension Machine, and literally as, like, Yuya, oh, like, arrived, that's when Yugo disappeared, when, like, Yuzu and all them were running, so it's, like, I love that they used the Magician's, like, hat 
thing as like a trick to get him out of there. Like I really like that it was like a little secret passageway to like kind of like get out of here. So I'm really looking forward to seeing like you know a little bit more of that. But like just seeing like you know Yuzu at the end is like you know really happy to like see like Yu Yu again and everyone is like yeah. Like let's hope that they don't get taken away for like too long from this one. But honestly I gotta say like considering that you know the next like from what we see of the finale of the episode is that we do get to see that guy from the tournament that Yu Yu went against like that like guy like which it took a, like it was a while I was like. That guy, I was like, oh, it's him. I don't remember his name at all. And I didn't really care about that guy. I thought his fight was a little bit okay. And I was like, oh, it's him. And he's seemingly under, like, some control. Like, he's got, like, some weird, like, tribal tattoo marks. So I'm wondering about, like, you know, what's going on with that. But it's like, I don't know. It was just, like, weird, like, character that just returned after all this time. So we'll have to wait and see, like, you know, what's going to be happening. But that's an interesting duel, I could say the least. It's like, bring back a character. And it's definitely, he wants revenge on New Year. Because obviously he got his fucking ass kicked by him. So we'll have to see, you know, what. What, like, what's going to be up with him so I know that was an interesting thing but let's see what's going to be happening in the next like, five episode but I definitely really like enjoyed this one I thought it was like oh for stuff that I was expecting us to not have like so far I thought like Grace, Gloria, Asta I thought all of them were like kind of not going to join yet but I was like yeah they just came back with like exactly just a bunch of them and I was like wow so I could feel like you know they're definitely considering that we're like now trying to rebuild like the XYZ dimension and we haven't got everyone back it's like we could, you know, we are kind of wrapping up. I could see us, like, being three quarters of the way already done with the story. Like, you know, since we've got the fusion dimension, we're already there. And it's like, you know, what we've got the Professor. And we could see some other elements like the Professor's doing it to stop this giant threat. So we could see, like, you know, two more arcs after this. So, you know, and that could be, you know, potentially, like, like 40 episodes each and all that. So, you know, the series could go to, like, 180 plus to maybe, heck, like, you know, it could even go to 200. So I'm very curious since, like, it's already longer than the original Zial and, like, you know, like, uh, being, like adding both seasons of Zial together, I think they were both like 70 plus, 75, like adding them together, it like it equaled up to 150 episodes or so, so like, there we go, like that's an interesting thing to add into it, like, you know, like, um, will this like be longer than like Zial, since like it's definitely looking for, like right now is that, you know, it feels three quarters of the way done, since, you know, three dimensions, like we're already like, three dimensions got a standard, already kind of sorted out with the tournaments and everything and the Lancers, like, we've got Synchros already with the tournament and everything, like, all of that sort out. And now we've also sort of seemingly had the LAXYZ one kind of concluded, like, slightly. I feel like we might go back there at some point and all that. Maybe there'll be, like, more rebellions there. And then, you know, like, honestly, I feel like there is going to let us more to the Professor in Academia that there is some bigger threat out there that maybe that's why he's doing this stuff. We'll have to wait and see what's going to be happening. I'm very goddamn curious. But, yeah, really happy that, like, you know, Phoenix, like, and Grace and Gloria joined. I thought that was, like get some great ass allies in there so looking forward to it. i love that now we've got every single dimension on the crew right now like we've got fusion with synchro xyz standard pendulum like i love that we've got everyone on there like that and it's gonna be interesting like seeing like what's gonna happen is like if anyone's gonna duel uh, dennis while that's how uh, this fight is happening with you so we'll have to wait and see but that's all for me so thank you much for watching as always I think give this one like an eight. I thought this was a great episode. I really did enjoy it. I think it mad more story wise than it did. The duel was nothing. The duel was absolutely fucking nothing between like you show and like Dennis. It was absolutely like I thought that was the worst part of the episode. That's probably why. But like story wise and just a bunch of really nice moments between like all the characters was nice and then getting a bunch of information that we wanted to know about for a while. So I generally enjoyed that. So that's all for me. So thank you for watching always, and I'll see you guys though next time.